So again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And right in front of you, you can see a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I am going to do a swipe with instead of a t-shirt hemmed rag, I have a very damp piece of cotton which I'm going to fold because it's what's handy. I stretched it out so it will fit the size of the canvas. And I'm going to try and continue on with my quest to make artwork that will show up in a dark room, <laughs> whatever that means. I have a restaurant I want to hang a show in and I have never tried too thoroughly to, um, yeah, I should have taken the tops off. Okay, we're just going to go back and forth about a hundred times. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Anyway, I'm trying, I'm going to try and use my latest colors. And I'm going to try not to, wow, there's a lot of bubbles in there. I'm going to try not to use my silicone spatula to flatten them out, which is what I usually do. Because I want, come on, one of you can be, <laughs> one of them can be not clogged. I see that, wow, I guess that would be a clog if I ever saw one. So now that that's out of there, that ought to be a lot better. Plus, if you guys ever notice, inside the rim of your bottles is the stuff that eventually finds its way into the tip and clogs them. So I'm going to hope that that doesn't happen again. I have shaken most of these. I'm going to put a little more in some places and a little less in others. I am actually going to add some black in here because I'm hoping that it will pop some cells. Um, I have some beautiful Art Minds pink and a little purple. I'm going to add some white and some gold. I'm not going to go all the way to the end because I expect that there's going to be enough paint to pull it through to the end. And I don't want to overdose on paint. I am going to use a little red. I don't know what's going to happen when I use the white, but I think I'm going to use the white metallic. And quite a bit of it and maybe put a little black next to it and I'm contemplating what I should use as my swipe color and I'm tempted by orange I don't think black is the right one I do want a little bit of this folk art neon I'm not sure putting it next to the black was my, I'm, excuse me, the orange was my best idea. I'd love to swipe with it. Oops. Well, something just came out of there. We got a lot of that now. I would like to not have any gaps on this canvas. Oh, wait. I've got this color. And I said I was going for lighter colors. And you can see I'm not putting all of my, I'm not evenly distributing my stripes and that is a plan this time because I want to know I may also wa wave things maybe this dark purple would be the perfect thing to swipe with so another layer of that I'm going to grab some of that black I said I was going to use and I think oh really <laughs> of course why would it be open just because I added paint to it earlier Please don't plug again. I would like to have some black cells all the way through, but I don't know what I'm going to get. I realized that I kind of swiping was easy for me at the time, it seemed like, so I was just going to uh, call it good that I'd made some pretty art and, uh, and not do too much more investigation. But I'm back there again. I just sold a my favorite swipe ever I just sold and um, for that for me that means that I want to go back to experimenting again that is the art minds iridescent it's probably a bad place to put it maybe wasted at the end now the other day I did something that I'm going to do again and I'll add my swipe color after I do it and that is to take an edge catcher that's not wide enough to take an edge catcher that's wide enough from a 16 by 20 inch pack of value pack of canvases from Michaels. And because it's hot out here, the 
today. The paint becomes runny and it's probably it would probably work better with an even amount of paint but I'm going to tap the edge of that cloth. It doesn't look nearly as light as I wanted it to so maybe I should go in there with some some more white but I'm going to try not to worry about it right now. I'm just going to get my paint to cover all the way to the edges. Uh, she said hopefully <laughs> without running it right down my arm. I'm going to still Okay, so now that's over here. I kind of want something else, and I have this new color in here, which is an Art Mines turquoise. I'm not sure what they call it, but that's what I'm calling it. And I'm just going to fill in any little gaps that I see with that because it's beautiful. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. How coincidental is that? Not at all. So, I love you guys. There's over 65,000 of you right now. And, uh, wow. Okay. That was super liquidous. And this is a big batch of that. Running right over the edge. And it may be a lot too sheer. I may wind up having to coat over some stuff tomorrow. Um, as long as it's a solid color, it should be okay. It's sort of like the black in that fact. Um, when you first use it. I'm going to want that swipe color. There's plenty of paint there. I'm going to swivel my turntable and call it good. This will be interesting. This is a first. What I want to do is I want to stretch out my folded rag again. I want to put it in as evenly as I can across. I forgot I was going to wag this. I'm going to wave it back and forth, waggle it just a little bit. I forgot my gold. I may tip this just somewhat, let that fall right down over the end, tap that on the edge where I might need it. I think I like that over there better, so I'm going to try and fix it. And I could probably fix a couple of things, but I think I'm going to just uh, call it good. It is what it is. See that little missing spot. I'm going to quick... Oh, am I going to quick hit it with a torch? I don't know if I am. I am going to quick come back over here. And see if we can get away with letting the paint flow back in there. I kind of like that, actually. And it gives me a little more paint on my rag, which is going right into the bucket. Yes, I see those spots. Paint will flow to paint, so while it's still wet, you can usually camouflage an indiscreet little something-something. I haven't done a 16 by 20 inch for a while. I really want to, uh, I want to tip it and go the wrong way and then back again. I think I'm impressed with how well the purple covered. I'm surprised, too. I am going to let all of that. It's not a typical event to let the uh, to let the paint tip on a swipe, but I've done it in the past and had some really interesting things happen. Usually, what would happen is I would add my skewer into things like so. We didn't get the same kind of cells popping from where. I filled back in with the rag, but I guess that's okay. Now it's time to torch. And I'm happy with my colors. I wonder if I have a basting brush. Yes, I do. And I always wanted to do that to see how it would blend. And I like how it blends. Do I dare? Oh gosh, no, I don't. Yes, I do. Let's just go for it. Because we can. We may not shoot, it might not be a shoulda, coulda, woulda, but we did, so we needed to find out. 
you can't really hurt anything that's that pretty anyway, in my opinion. So we torch to release the bubbles of the paint from shaking the paint and mixing the pouring mediums in there. My recipe is below the video, below the description of the artwork. And in that same description area below the video, you will also find links to PayPal and Patreon if you want to be in this month's contest by contributing through the studio, or Pinterest and Instagram, and even Facebook volumes one and two and maybe more on my Facebook page called Expression to Start Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors. Uh, there is obviously another group, there are five pages I have there, where you can show and tell your own work. It's Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation. And there are lots of people there. This is awesome. I love it. <laughs> I'm so glad I did this. Now I need to do one of those stripes without the swipe and see what happens. Lots of cells. I don't use any silicone at all. If anyone is interested in purchasing an artwork, just get in touch with me through YouTube Communications and I'll give you an email. And uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I want to thank everybody for all their wonderful comments. I really appreciate them. They, you make my day every day. Every day you make my day. I promise you that. Um, also, I want to thank everybody who's contributed in the past to keep me painting. It's really, really been a humongous help to help me buy art supplies when I'm not selling paintings. And uh, I'm beginning to sell paintings slowly, but it's. Uh, but I've been invited to uh, to show at a large venue through Instagram. We'll see if that's a real thing or not. I'm hoping it is. That would be really nice. And. Uh, you know, things are coming along, opportunities are a little slow, but don't give up if you're out there and you're painting. Just keep right on, keeping on, offering yourself to show in different places, and sooner or later the right one will come along, and people will buy your art, because it's cool. <laughs> it's not like anything they've ever seen before. Still a lot of people are not overly familiar. i got to be a little careful. I just saw that thing that got tipped. My paint is heavy. It's thick. And I like to leave it thick, and I see that thing that does not belong. And I use Golden, I use GAC 800 by Golden, which is a pouring medium that helps prevent cracking when it dries. So I can use the paint as thick as I want to most of the time and never worry about it cracking. I have covered most of my edges. My skewer is allowed to go where it wants. I don't mind what the basting brush did. I have cool patterns over here and here and cells. And that was a good experiment. There will be more. I love you guys. There's over 66,000 of you by now, I am pretty sure. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery saying, please give me a thumbs up and watch more videos if you want to be of assistance to me because the longer you watch, including the commercials, the more likely the YouTube algorithm is to put my videos where more people can find them, which in turn will make me want to make more videos for more people. I love you guys. Like you wouldn't believe so much. I am going to keep adding some paint because it's so hot out here. I have faith that it will help me cover those spots that are looking a little thin, so maybe I won't have to do anything tomorrow. But there's going to come a minute in a minute where I won't do that anymore because I'm nervous that I'll get some sort of lumpiness there. So you guys take care. I hope to see you in the next video. I said who I was. I'm Priscilla. And I, I love you. And I do. And. Um, there's over 600 videos on the end screens if you can wait until the last 10, 10 or 15 seconds. And uh, my website is there. And what else? Um, the contest that shows the, uh, the artwork that's, that's going in each month's contest is usually on a video. This month's video was a 10 by 20 inch canvas exhibition. So check that out too. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.